Here is my X350 with NASA version 2 and then apparently the blocks M8M GPS module. I very much doubt that it is a real one, but let's see how fast GPS acquiring is on a start with a battery, but it has not received power for around 15 or 20 minutes. No, actually 30 minutes. So let's see how it performs after the startup. Here we go. Look at that. That usually takes me for about five minutes to get five or six satellites. And look at that. It has not even done initializing yet. But the, as you can see in the pictures uh, that I also posted, um, the GPS antenna is a lot bigger. And I have had the same module on the Walker Scout. It's just not compatible for NASA, but it's the same module. Uh, well, they claim it was, uh, this is an M89, uh, but M8N. But um, on the Walker Scout where I had this module, a real M8N uh, GPS module, I had um, around 20 satellites on a sunny, sunny day. Well, it is cloudy. But I think I could have got more satellites than this. I don't really think this is a real M8N module. I rather think this is an, uh, just an improved uh, 6 series uh, GPS with uh, simply uh, a better uh, antenna on it. As you can see the NASA is still initializing and we still have GPS 11 already. So it is definitely an improvement. Again, the old one, I had to wait five minutes to get five to six satellites. With also around a break of 30 minutes in between without power. So it's, it's working for me. I'm really happy with it. Don't mind the looks, it's not really a beautiful quadcopter, but it gets the job done. Just put this little tape on, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger piece of tape here. Right, here you go. As you can see, quite a bit of an improvement. So, uh, I can recommend this module. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys.